usually start it? Uh, you usually start it with some, like... It's like, cue the really old commentary from a hockey game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're making fun of my yeah. stories from the hockey room. You're such a twit. <laughs> That's not nice. <laughs> you call me a twit. So-called no-name team from Western Canada is yet another expansion club reaching maturity this year. And they quickly jump to a 3-1 lead when little Bobby Lalonde takes the puck at the red line and slaps it past Esposito from 60 feet out. How old are the um, hockey cards? Like, how old is the piece of gum? Like, oh, in the would table? It, would it be, like, crumbly? Yeah. Well, you know what's weird about that gum? Is when you opened it, it... It tasted old. Like yeah. new? Yeah, what? it was all brittle. It would. It was kind of like, dusty. Would it be like actual gum? Like, could you actually like yeah. chew it like in a ball? Or would it just crumble and like fall apart? I think we chewed it. It wasn't very tasty. It was like cardboard. But it but was kind of chalky so that do that wouldn't stick to the cards, I think. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I I was your age and younger, and I used to collect the cards, and there was only one brand. Do you know what brand it was? What? Oh, Peachy. Oh, yeah, Oh, Peachy. They yeah. still have those. Yeah. I think there were 10 or 15 cents a pack, so that shows how old I am. Oh. What was, like, the biggest card? The most uh, What was the most popular? valuable card that you got out of a pack and you were like freaking out? Oh, that was Wayne Gretzky rookie card. You got that out of like a regular pack? Yeah. That was uh, like 1980, so I would have been your age. I would have been 11. Oh. Yeah. Tell them about the story where you stole $5. From Papa? Yeah. Well, when I was probably eight years old and I was a good kid. I was an honest kid. And uh, I was collecting, each set was 396 cards. But uh, one day, uh, I guess Papa's wallet was sitting out, and I lifted five bucks from his wallet, and I went down to Reidegger's Market in Deep Cove. That's where I grew up, right, in North Van. You know, it was always really fun and rewarding to have, you know, one or two or three packs of cards, but to have 30 or, or almost 40 packs it was overwhelming. I had this guilt. Like, what am I going to tell my dad? How am I going to tell my mom? You know, oh, I found $5. It's a, I knew that didn't sound very realistic. And so if we did something wrong back then, we'd get the wooden spoon. Or usually it was just the, it was the, just the, 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 the threat of the wooden spoon. You'd hear the drawer open. That's where the wooden spoon was. But, uh, yeah, but so, they like take a knife and flick all of the wood grains up so that there's like slivers sticking out? No. Oh, I don't know what you've been listening to. but you anyway, pull out the I, can't, I, can't, Ow. I think Papa gave me a spanking twice or something, but I sure as heck remembered it. So anyway, I was <laughs> racked with so much guilt that I came clean early. And instead of getting in huge trouble... I think it was an early lesson that if you make a mistake, own it. And I did have to pay him back and I was in big trouble, but not nearly as much trouble as I would have been. You know, I always thought they'd have the stars like Bobby Orr and Guy Lafleur and, you know, Ken Dryden. I always loved Ken Dryden, right? Uh, There's a little guy named Bobby Lalonde for the Canucks who is five foot five. You know how Patrick Kane is small? Well, he was three inches shorter, four inches shorter than Patrick Kane. Shorter than Johnny Goudreau. You know, there were other guys like um, Gary Suitcase Smith. He had the big afro and the mustache, and he played for the Canucks, my favorite. You know, still my favorite team, right? Have you told them a story about Gary Smith, how he got, I wouldn't say like fired, but like... Oh, he got traded, yeah. Yeah. You, you did? Yeah, I told Dave that one and the other uh, hockey room stories. Did you tell them that it was a fake? You know, I read online that only part of that was true. The rest of it was made up. He never said anything about the dog food. Oh. Yeah. But uh, some of the other guys uh, that I painted the cards of, some of them are stars. But some guys that uh, didn't have a long career, 
like uh, Greg Polis, that was a commission, and Leo Boyvin, he actually, uh, he had a Hall of Fame career, but, you know, he's not a household name like Bobby Orr or Wayne Gretzky, right? Ken Dryden. With both teams back at equal strength now, the Canucks begin to put their first real pressure on Tony Esposito, and the Chicago fans start searching through their programs to find out the names of these guys who are taking so many shots against their hero. Names like Don Lieber, John Gould, Jerry O'Flaherty, Bobby Lalonde, and Chris Odlipson aren't exactly household words around Chicago, but they've been scoring the goals that have kept the Canucks hot all year.